Hello, 12th grade. We are at day three of our learning week. Um, the focus objective for today, I can close read Act 5.3. Your first task, I'm just asking you to consider a time when a small moment in your life had a really big impact. Uh, if you'd like to journal about that for a few, you can journal. If you want to just take some time to like reflectively think about when a small moment had a big impact and maybe what that impact was, that's also fine as well. On the third slide, after your mindful minute, you will see the overview of Acts 2 and 3. So it's a, it's a short video, very similar to the one that we watched two days ago for Acts 5.1. And it's just going to give you kind of a brief overview or a synopsis of what... Um, sequentially happens in Act 5.2 and 5.3, you're going to notice that Act 5.2 is only six lines. So on the fourth slide of the Google slideshow, it asks you to consider why you think Shakespeare would include a six-line scene, right? Um, you want to think about why Shakespeare would take those six lines and make them its own moment, make that its own scene. So how does that impact the plot when we're thinking about like the structure of plot? Um, we're thinking about at this point, we're past the climax, right? We're getting into the falling action and heading towards that resolution of the story uh, or the play rather. So why would he isolate this moment? Why highlight this moment as its own moment and not just a moment that's part of a bigger moment, okay? Then you're going to jump into Act 5.3. And I'm asking you to close read this, which means you need to read it two to three times. So in this scene, we have Cassius and Titinius. They both die. We knew this from way back, but now it actually happens. There are three excerpts of Cassius, Titinius, and Brutus. And I'm asking you to just use your annotation skills, which we've practiced throughout the year, you can use the translator if you're stuck on the text or the language of the text. And you want to read through that three times. The first time you read it, you're reading just for comprehension, for gist, for understanding. The second and third time that you're reading that, you're focusing on the deeper meaning. So if you need to read it three times as opposed to two, three would be ideal. But first, maybe think about breaking down some of that complex language that you see in the text. And then now that you have an understanding of the gist of what happens, you have some better understanding and grasp on the language, think about um, what's really happening and what's the impact of these moments and what's the impact of these characters and their conversations with one another in this point of the text. On Google Classroom, you don't have a physical assignment that you need to submit. Um, this work today is preparation for what you're going to write tomorrow about Act 5.3. So it's really important that you take the time to sift through the language. We've done a lot of work together this year on breaking down the language, reading over the language, translating the language into things that make more sense for the way that we would communicate with each other. So today is just a day to dive into the reading really break apart the language, work through the language, get a grasp on what's happening so that you're able to apply that tomorrow to a writing task. If you have any questions or you want to um, get further clarification, please shoot me an email. And if you're able to join us for the live chat at nine o'clock this morning, we can take the time to read through Act 5.3 together like we did on Monday. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Thanks.